Thank you for watching Live at 5. I'm David Carroll. And I'm Cindy Sexton. A reminder to those who exercise their right to bear arms after a strange encounter at a Saudi Daisy home. This unfolded last night around midnight on Gad Road. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Heron tells us what happened and why police say the homeowner did the right thing. Police are asking residents here in Saudi Daisy to be on high alert, but with it comes a warning to know your rights before you defend yourself. A strange encounter has spooked some living along Gan Road after a woman reported a man on her porch jiggling her doorknob around midnight. When she asked through the door what he wanted, he said he was there to get a cell phone. The complainant uh, then uh, replied back to him saying that there is not you don't, there's not your phone's not in here. The woman called police while her son stood by with a gun. The man then walked away. No idea who the man is or why he picked that home. Saudi side, Daisy police officer son, Jerry Workman the, says this woman and her son did the right thing. But to just start shooting would not have been legal. When somebody is breaking into your house, um, kicking the door in and that you are in fear of your safety, in fear of your family safety, then there is some fine lines there to where uh, force can be used. Workman says jiggling a doorknob does not fit that definition. Police are still looking for the man described as a black male with slender build. If you witness any suspicious activity or anyone matching this description, Call police. That number is on your screen. Reporting in Saudi Daisy, I'm Michelle Heron, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. And the Better Business Bureau says the most common door-to-door -door scams involve people claiming to offer home maintenance like roof repairs, yard work, and even saying they're with a local electric company, all in an effort to get inside your home. Now, if something doesn't seem right, they say call police.